all sports run the risk of injury, but you know, football has dings all the time. We never come back from a game on Friday night where there's not guys that have a couple of dings. So having an athletic trainer on hand has been a huge benefit for the student athletes and, and for the coaches too. Tolmuk High School's had sports for 75 years almost, and this is the first year that we've had somebody um, working with student athletes full time in an athletic trainer capacity. So in the past, I think we would have always just either suggested that that student, I don't know, ice it or go to the doctor and you know, neither one of those come anywhere near close to what we're able to provide for student athletes now. How you feel, Tyson? I am Jessica Johnson. I am a certified athletic trainer with Adventist Health. To have somebody who's specifically trained to identify and treat and diagnose um, injuries, especially sports injuries, is, is very crucial. We have a full range of abilities from you know, the first initial uh, injury to being evaluated by myself and Dr. LaFleur. We have a great orthopedic team at Adventist Health with Dr. LaFleur, our orthopedic surgeon, and then Ruben Franco-Garcia, who's our wonderful physician assistant. It just helps a lot of times to get a second pair of eyes on an injury, and Ruben and Dr. LaFleur are amazing because, well, number one, they're fantastic at what they do, but even if I have a question about a particular student athlete and, and an injury, deter maybe determining if it needs to be seen, or if it's something that I can just treat at the high school. Um, they are wonderful at answering any questions that I have and, and giving me advice on maybe how to treat a certain injury. We have felt for a long time that we were really missing an important part of our athletic program. If an athlete was injured, it could take several minutes before 911 was called and a responder made across town if they were available and then got to the field. Uh, you know, so a long time could have passed and the student could have suffered quite a bit or not been assessed properly. When an athlete goes down, there's this sort of uh, switch that flips and you just go into work mode and, um, you know, how can I take care of this athlete? What is the best way uh, to treat them right now? What, what's going on? Um, what's, what's the mechanism of injury? Are they, are they awake? Um, are they breathing? Is everything in uh, anatomical alignment? You know, what's going on? Um, and you just do everything that just needs to be done in that moment. And so having someone that's there right now to respond to it, it is just amazing. It feels like we're finally um, complete, at least uh, as far as having the ability to respond to needs on the field. Back here. Yeah, but it's the top. It's a little swollen right here, but your ankle feels stable, which is good. We have an outstanding community partner in Adventist Health, and we're so appreciative for them having the vision that we have to be able to provide our students um, better access to important health care in any one of our sporting programs. I think the advantage of having her is having help right away and being able to get healed and get back on the field. Two games ago I just tore my meniscus and she had me back out in like the next two days. It hurt at first and she pulled me off and I was bummed I couldn't go back out because that's where I like to be but she reassured me that if we sit out when it needs to be healed we'll be back in sooner than if we push through it. We're CPR certified. Um, we are trained to identify spinal injuries. Um, things like that where, where seconds matter. Um, we're there on the field, on the court to, to get that ball rolling and, and call the ambulance if we need them. And uh, Every second counts in that situation. Not only does Jess have the skill set, but uh, she's got rapport and she's got a great attitude. She wants to be here and that just gives her such an advantage. I really feel like she's doing this because it's a calling for her. And so we're appreciative of her.